Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to do number 109 on the FTC General Knowledge Practice Test. Now this is a problem based on measurements and unit conversion. It's a basic problem, but I think it opens up the conversation of, you know, uh, doing unit conversions on your exam, so I'd like to do it with you. Go something like this. Which is the correct sequence, largest to smallest, for the following measurement abbreviations? And then we have our abbreviations here. And our base here is meters. And we're looking to order um, this um, in distance using our, our base of meters, the largest to the smallest. Let's just start with meters here. And let's just review if I had one meter here. One meter is made up of how many centimeters? Well, it, it takes actually 100 centimeters to equal one meter. So one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Really important that you know that. Well, what about, uh, what's, a, what's a, a millimeter? A millimeter actually fits in to a centimeter. It takes 10 millimeters to make a centimeter. So if we're t thinking about our millimeters, really tiny, since it takes 10 millimeters to equal a centimeter and 100 centimeters equal a meter, then it takes a thousand millimeters to equal one meter. Now decameters, that actually falls in between uh, meters and centimeters. In dec, you have 10 here, it actually takes 10 decameters to equal a meter. Now the ones that you're going to really have to know are meters and centimeters, but you should also kind of remember that, you know, millimeters, it takes about uh, 10 millimeters, it takes 10 millimeters to equal a centimeter, or it takes a thousand millimeters to equal a meter, all right? The next major one that they have here is kilometers. This is the largest one, and it's actually a couple steps up. It takes a thousand meters, a thousand meters, to equal one kilometer. So we could say, you know, if we had a thousand meters, it would equal one kilometer, or we could say one kilometer is one thousandth. Uh, that should be deleted. One kilometer is one thousandth of a meter. All right, it would take a thousand meters to equal one kilometer. Now this is basic unit conversion. By the way, the answer is A. I'm hoping everyone picked that up. There's no real concerns there, uh, especially if you, you know your core stuff. And just by knowing that meters are bigger than centimeters, and we're going from largest to smallest, you could have eliminated C and D because here you have the order of these flipped. All right, this is not a very hard one. What gets challenging is remember all, remembering all the unit conversions. So let's take a look at some of those. And what I mean by all the unit conversions, I'm gonna to refer to a unit conversion sheet on a, a test uh, formula sheet. All the, any type of teacher certification exam you're preparing for, whether it's in Florida for the FTCs, or the MTELs in Massachusetts, or the, or, or the T's in Texas, or we're talking about um, a teacher certification exam in California, they're all going to have some sort of formula sheet that's given with the test. And you want to make sure you go to that conversion section. And you want to know all the units of measurement, all the uh, conversion uh, methods. For example, you want to know that every yard is made up of 3 feet or 36 inches. You want to know that one mile is, made, is equal to 5,280 feet. Basic stuff. Here's another uh, major one that you need to know. One hour is equal to 60 minutes, and one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So you should know that you know one hour is going to equal 3,600 seconds. And then we, we'll do the same. You can think of the same thing for liters and millimeters. You could think of uh, one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. This stuff is all very important. So I would go back very carefully read over these make sure you know these even a problem that you know is as simple as wanting you to convert tons to pounds you know it's good just to know one ton is equal to two thousand pounds so go back take some time study your unit conversion sheets i can't stress this enough you will have problems involving unit conversions they will be stuff that isn't quite on the tip of your tongue and so you have to spend a little time now and go back and study your unit conversions all right okay team i hope you found this video helpful this is chris abraham from go math have a wonderful day take care
Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.